All right, you guys, I wanna show you a sneak peek inside of my kitchen and some of the key things that I always have in stock because these are things that I go through on the daily. Um, and so I thought I would share it. Let's do this. By the way, don't judge my messy refrigerator. It is really messy, but remember, I am also living with a boy and boys are dirty. You're good at other things, babe. Let me have this. Dun, dun. This is what our messy refrigerator currently looks like. I just threw out a bunch of things on my counter that I literally cannot live without. So I am a huge junk food lover. I've really had to nip that in the bud. I have found alternatives to where I can still munch and get the crunch. These chips have given me so much life on this grain-free diet that I've been on. Um, they actually legit not only look like le real tortillas, but they are real. They're just made from almond flour. And what are you doing, Steve? This is not a regular chip. Mm. Whole Foods has this medium thick salsa, which I like. It's not a specific one that I get, but I just look for the one that has like the least amount of sugar. And I also keep an eye on the sodium and just not try not to make it too salty. The only thing about these chips, they are not cheap. Remember that. They're not cheap, but <laughs> they're delicious chips worth investing in if you do have sometimes issues with bloating or mm -hmm. any type of gluten allergy. These have been an amazing alternative. You know, they're made from almond flour and you guys, the same brand also has and tortillas which I put in a plastic bag, but hey. not gonna lie. What? What are you trying to say? Say what we're all thinking. When I am a good girl on the weekends, I do treat myself to a Coke life. Have you guys tried these? These are actually made with cane sugar and stevia, so it's not as bad as the regular Coke per se. So I treat myself to this on my cheat days and it's something I look forward to. So there's that. And then Zevia? Um, something that I've been able to drink throughout the week when I really want that carbonated fix are these Zevia drinks. I tried all of them. The cream soda and the ginger root beer are the best flavors, hands down. And then La Croix, La Croix, La Croix, I don't know how you say it, TBH, but they have um, these carbonated waters. I'm not usually like a huge like flavored water kind of girl, but these are actually really good and I quickly became addicted to the coconut flavor. It is so good, it's so carbonated, you feel the burn and that's what we like. Hey man, where's the cred for putting you on to Zevia and a lot of these other things, man? I don't care no credit. You better put it in the credits of the freaking movie, dude. <laughs> Shut up. You forget it. Taking the baby with her living. We're just going in here to eat. Okay, bye. Thank you. I have talked about this dressing countless of times on my stories. It's from Paleo Chef. I got it at Whole Foods. They also have it online if you check Amazon. But this is so worth ordering if you don't find it in your store. This is their ginger cilantro dressing. Anyone who has tried it has become obsessed. Even if you're not a cilantro person, even if you're not a ginger person, Best of all, it is paleo friendly for anybody out there that's doing a paleo diet. And look at this, two grams of sugar, which is insane because that's nothing. And this dressing is like, it's the reason I actually wanna eat salads. It's so, so good. You have to try it, you guys will be hooked. I love my sriracha. Stevie thinks I'm crazy because I put it on everything, but if you're somebody who loves flavor, sometimes your chicken just needs a little something extra. And sriracha is always a really good way to go because essentially there's no sugar in this. So again, you can really get that fix, that flavor, and just put that in your dishes. I always have an avocado on hand in my kitchen. If you're somebody that doesn't get full off of a salad, then a lot of the times it means that the salad just didn't have enough protein or fats in it. So one of my really good friends and nutritionists, Be Well by Kelly, she told me this years ago and I was just mind blown that like just by putting half of an avocado in your salad can really help keep you full but also give your body the essential nutrients and fats that it needs to help you sustain while you're working throughout the day so that you're not hungry like an hour later, you know? So that's really important is to include fat. So I love avocados. I also like having like almonds on, on deck. 
um, walnuts, those kinds of things that I can just like throw in my salads or just eat as a snack if I need to. I'm trying to be better at drinking water. For my um, weight, I'm supposed to drink half my body weight in ounces of water. So for me, that's about half of this two gallon water bottle that, again, I got a Whole Foods. I like just keeping it with me because it reminds me like take a sip every few minutes stay hydrated all throughout the day. And then when I work out, you guys, I for years have been obsessed with Vega Sport, their Energizer. This is a pre-workout supplement. It has turmeric in it and all these other awesome things to help me get in the mood to actually work out. It does something within me to like get me not jittery, but super like focused and motivated. I can't describe it. Sometimes with pre-workouts, there's so many side effects to it and you start itching, your lips start itching. I just love that this one is really good. It's plant-based and I put just one scoop in eight ounces of water about 30 minutes before I work out and it's become something that I've really enjoyed. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I actually like enjoy sipping my pre-workout. Stevie makes fun of me for that. Always, always, you guys, I love to have spinach. A huge thing of spinach on deck in my fridge. I actually love spinach. It's really good in the mornings too if you want to mix it with your scrambled eggs and some onions and sort of create this caramelized scramble. What I've been doing is I just take a handful of greens onto every meal that I'm eating and I just incorporate a handful. And I really get my fiber intake for the day and I like putting it in a smoothie if that's what I decide to do as my meal. So love that. Because I've committed to being grain free and dairy free, cheese is so hard to give up. I have been going with the dairy-free option. So delicious actually is good. Like if I want to sprinkle some of it, you know, on a taco salad or inside of a taco, I don't feel like I'm missing out on my cheese and it's dairy-free. And when we make pizzas, I've been getting um, uh, dairy-free mozzarella. It still works and it's good and I'm, I feel better after I eat because I know that I was just sticking to the dairy-free option that I said I was gonna opt in for. I'm really bad at taking vitamins, I'm not gonna lie. But Stevie has us pretty much set as if Y2K is about to come attack us. He is a huge vitamin, hydration, tablet junkie, and he only does like the best of the best. So I'm gonna leave him to that, but what I like to do, this was actually in my bless box, and this ain't sponsored. I am a huge fan of Noon Hydration. They have one that I was taking throughout my pregnancy because I couldn't take the pre-workout when I was pregnant um, and breastfeeding. So I was taking the Noon Hydration Energy one um, instead, and they also have a vitamin one. So just popping one of these in my you know, gallon of water throughout the day, I allow myself to kind of get that vitamin intake that I need. I also love leftovers. I am a huge fan of my turkey chili recipe, so I've got my leftovers always on deck. So I went to Creation the other day and I got this salmon wrap. It's wrapped in like a collard green and it is amazing. Just reminded myself that I put this in here yesterday and I need to eat it later. Hey, you see that cookie dough right there? That's Stevie's, not mine. He eats pretty healthy all the time, I'm not gonna lie, but when it comes to sweets, He's guilty and he's weak! Yeah. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a sweet tooth of my own. So I will opt in for those moments when I need a sweet treat, usually after dinner. Um, I got these dairy-free um, chocolate bars and I haven't actually tried these ones. I am obsessed with the uh, So Delicious ones but I haven't tried this brand, but I'm sure it's just as good. I actually went into this last night and had a little bit. It was so good. And by a little bit, I mean, when I have about five bites, I'm like done with ice cream. I'm not like a huge sweet tooth person. Are you guys a fan of Halo Top? Stevie is obsessed. They have like 320 calories per pint, which is awesome. And it's a very light ice cream and it has like protein in it basically so it's like you don't have to feel completely guilty when you're eating it but anyways we have a bunch of those on deck so this is what I'm making for dinner tonight this happens to be one of mine and Stevie's favorite meals ever especially when we're being healthy throughout the week this is organic butternut squash noodles which we store in the freezer if we buy it and don't eat it within a week so we are gonna let this thaw out um, what Stevie does actually is he puts this on like a baking sheet and lets it kind of broil and get a little bit crispy in the oven. 
and then he puts them in the pan and stir fries them with like salt and pepper, a little bit of thyme. It's so, so good. And this is my favorite pasta sauce ever. We tried it, we loved it. It's really low in cal calories. And again, most importantly, the sugar is three grams. So I really try to keep that number fairly low with everything that I eat. And so it's kind of like our own healthy version of spaghetti. And surprisingly, it's really, really good. We put some uh, ground beef with it. So that makes it more hearty, more filling. Um, you can even sprinkle a little bit of cheese if you want on top. And then for our salad on the side, we like to do arugula. We toast some of these pine nuts on the stove. We sprinkle some of that on there. We put a little bit of this guy drizzled on top, maybe some avocados. Um, and if you want, you could do a little bit of Parmesan, um, but that's kind of what we eat with this. This is honestly one of my favorite meals um, when I wanna be healthy, but I wanna feel satisfied. Highly suggest you guys try it out. You can basically get all of these things at Whole Foods. I just realized in this video how obsessed I am with Whole Foods. I mean, it's literally down the street from my house. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Again, I haven't done anything like this before on my channel. I obviously didn't really dive too deep into, you know, every single thing in my diet, but I kind of scraped the surface and gave you guys the basics. And these are all things that have helped me stay on track. So I want to know if you want to see more videos like this because it's an area of my life that I've recently found a passion in. Um, it hasn't always been like that, but I'm just starting to just be, pay more attention to what I eat. But I love to eat and I love food and I think that's why I try to stay on top of my workouts is because I love to eat. And for me, it's like an 80-20 rule. So 80% of the week, Monday through Friday, I really do stay strict with my diet and I try not to cheat at all. Um, but then on Saturdays and Sundays, I obviously am just a little bit less mindful in terms of if things have dairy in them or if it's gluten-free. I mean, I try to just, you know, be mindful, pay attention to my body, what it likes, what it doesn't like. But if I really want the cookie, I'm gonna eat it on the weekend.